What is analog audio in 100 seconds? Now that we understand sound a little bit better, let's talk about how we record and play back audio. As we learned in a previous video, sound is essentially just a transfer and transformation of energy from one source to another. The human ear transforms mechanical waves into electrical signals that our brain understands. If we want to record audio, we have to capture that energy and convert it into some form that we can control and reproduce. So we use a microphone, which interestingly acts a lot like our ear. A membrane or diaphragm receives the sound wave and moves an induction coil through a magnetic field, producing a varying current. That's right, we are creating an electric current. However, that current is quite low, so we need to amplify it, except we aren't really amplifying it to an audience or something yet, so we do this with what's called a preamplifier. The quieter your source, the more it needs to be amplified. So the best practice in setting a level is to set your preamp according to the loudest you expect your source to be. Anyway, once we have that signal at a reasonable level, we need it to go somewhere. We can send it to a mixer to blend with other sounds, a loudspeaker system to actually amplify it, or to an analog recording format such as vinyl or tape. Fun fact, back in the old days, vinyls were made by recording the sound directly to the surface via a large cone instead of a microphone. So let's say we want to send our signal to some speakers. How do speakers work? Well, kind of like dynamic microphones, but in reverse. They take an electrical signal and turn it into kinetic energy and move a speaker cone to reproduce those sound waves. And that is analog audio in 100 seconds. Thanks for listening. Like if you liked, comment if you're so inclined, and subscribe to see more like it.